Okay, so you guys all know that I'm like the uh, selfie stick, king of the selfie stick reviews. I've done a ton of them. And they come, they're coming in all kinds of crazy shapes and sizes of late. So this is a new one from Anglink. Um, we're going to check it out. It's a, it has a self timer bar, supports mobile shooting, hex holder supports 360. So this is a Bluetooth one as well. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box. So you can see itself, it has a selfie stick. It comes in a pretty small package. And that is the packaging right there. It folds up small. This is a benefit compared to, I just did a review on this big monster. It's different. So this isn't the case. It does come with a USB, micro USB charging cable for the battery inside. This is it. And then there is an instruction up with the side of the box. And the instructions are Chinese on one side and English on the other. Okay, so let's go ahead. So this opens up. There's a lock twist here. This opens up. It's a spring. Spring. There we go. And different, each one of these now they're coming out with different styles. So the spring holds the phone. That's it. And then you can lock it into place. And this lock here, the angle. And Yeah, it's kind of cool. Again, it's pretty thoughtful in the sense that you can really um, just want to make sure that this is yeah, again. You want to feel confident leaving your phone in this, extending it out because you know if you're on a really active and this this has a little bit of torsional instability. See. It's just the nature of these telescoping type selfie sticks. They just, they have this grooving here, and that's what keeps, it makes it more stable and not twisting, but it also doesn't prevent it entirely. So it's a little bit, when the camera, again, yeah, and this is an iPhone 5, so it's smaller than the 6, it's smaller than the 6 Plus. It's also way smaller than my Note 4, which is a lot bigger and heavier. So yeah, I could see where this might, you know, I can definitely see, and then it has the Bluetooth controls here, okay? And it looks like it has some sort of zooming ability with, along with the shutter. Um, the bottom here, you can use, you know, you, you can actually put a, um, a tripod mount here. So if you have a small tripod, you can do that. And then the charging, um, with the, you're charging the batteries in here as well. I'm looking to see if there's a switch to turn on. There's also space for a wrist strap, which I did not see included in the box. Okay, so pushing and holding that button puts it into a pairing mode. Let's go ahead and pair this guy up. So blue light on it is flashing. Let's go into the camera mode. So in the camera mode, and we will test out. We'll switch mode to the front camera. So there's a plus and minus button. I'm not sure what that does. It doesn't do anything on this particular phone out of the box. Let's go to change the, um, the front camera and see if it does anything. It does not. But 
does engage the shutter. So hold it up high, get the shot, get the shot of the lake, and it does work. My biggest negative of this whole design, honestly, guys, is you push and hold this and you can turn it off. Yep, it turns off and just folds up, remove the camera. this on the turn that so it goes like that unlock this and it stores away nice and tight okay so summary angling cool concept don't really dig the way it holds the phone I don't feel confident I don't like when it's extended out I do not like this vibration at all the Bluetooth uh, functionality and handle definitely works fine. The concept's kind of cool, it, it does work, uh, but it's too shaky for me. So that's my review. Big comp pro is that it is small, you can slip it into your pocket, you can put it into a bag really easy, and it's a good, you know, it's great for that, but too shaky. So anyway, you guys can make a decision. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. The link for the product will be below. Thank you very much.